What's better than a one kind of soft, chewy, delicious stuffed pretzel? Three different kinds! For these delicious, soft, chewy pretzel bites, we're using a standard pretzel dough recipe. Now, if you're not familiar with how to make pretzel dough, I've included a recipe below as well as a link to a full how-to tutorial on how to make pretzels. What we're going to do for our bites is divide this dough into tiny portions and we'll be stuffing those with all sorts of delicious things. Start dividing the dough in half and then into eighths. What you want to do is sort of just start by rolling these out almost as though you were making a standard pretzel. Once you've got it to about 14 or 16 inches, then you're gonna to wanna to start making cuts. So we'll cut it in half first, and in half again, and these are perfect for our delicious stuffed bites. First up, pepperoni pizza pretzel bites. All right, these couldn't be simpler. Basically, I have my divided dough standing by, as well as a parchment-lined baking sheet. Now, I'm using some herbed shredded mozzarella, but you could use any regular mozzarella you like. I'm also using some finely diced pepperoni. Now, we want everything in a really small dice because we don't want it to be too overwhelming for each of the little pretzel packages. So basically, we're just filling each piece of dough, pinching the ends, and then we'll roll them to get them into that nice round ball form. Now, you can actually make these ahead of time if you want and put them together the night before. Then just before baking, take them out for about an hour, let them sort of rise again and get all room temperature, and then you can cook them the next day. Your kids will love them. You will love them. You will not be able to resist. All right, so we've got about 10 cups of hot water boiling away. I've added about half a cup of baking soda to the water. And in, these guys are going to go. They're gonna take a little bath. We're gonna add about five at a time. We don't wanna overcrowd them. And then they're going to be in there for about 30 seconds. We'll fish them out with a slotted spoon and then give them a nice egg wash. This is just a couple egg yolks and about a tablespoon of water. We're gonna brush the top so they get nice and golden brown and then into the oven they'll go at 450 for about 10 minutes. Keep a good eye on them though because they'll burn quick. All right, pepperoni pizza pretzel bites are ready to come out. Oh my God, they look unbelievable. Now we have just one more step to make these extra delicious. Basically, once they come out of the oven, they are going to get a nice, butter bath. I've melted some butter in a pan. I'm going to add a little bit of garlic salt and then I'm also going to add a little bit of dried rosemary. All right, these are hot so be very careful as you're sort of rolling them around in the butter. We're going to give these just a little sprinkling of additional rosemary and then top them each with just a teeny bit of salt. They are pretzels after all. Get your pizza sauce ready, folks. Those are ready to go. For our tasty jalapeno popper pretzel bites, we are going to start by mixing up our filling. So our filling is going to be a mixture of cream cheese, cheddar cheese, and then I'm using some diced pickled jalapeno. You can also use fresh if that's what you prefer. And then you can opt to add some bacon as well. So I've cooked this bacon off and chopped it up really, really finely because you don't want too much of any sort of bite. You want everything to be sort of uniform size. We're gonna put a healthy dollop of filling and then we'll bring all the sides over. Make sure we're trapping all that delicious filling inside. Pinch it really, really well and then give it a good roll. Oh, and when they're ready, they come out golden brown and delicious. And then we're just gonna take these balls and give them a little bit of a butter bath, as though they weren't already delicious enough. And then we're gonna serve them with some tasty ranch dressing. For my final trick, I'm gonna make chocolate peanut butter stuffed pretzel bites. Are you ready for this? 
Now I'm cheating a little bit. I'm actually using some mini peanut butter cups, which you know have basically done all the work for me. You could also just do a combination of chocolate chips and peanut butter chips, or you know you could go with kisses or any sort of really delicious candy that's going to get all melty and tasty on the inside. Our chocolate peanut butter pretzel bites are ready to go for a dip in the water and baking soda. Once they're done, we're gonna brush them with a little egg wash and into the oven, they're gonna go. <laughs> Look at these. Can you see the chocolate dying to escape? All that chocolate peanut butter goodness. So I was having a pretty deep internal debate about whether these should be topped with sugar or with salt. Because I love a salty sweet and I love a sweet sweet. And then I realized that when it's your own recipe, you can top it with whatever the hell you want. So why not do both? And of course, we've got a little caramel dipping sauce standing by. All these delicious recipes are listed below and also on thedomesticgeek.com. Please be sure to subscribe to my channel for more amazing recipes, tasty treats, and of course, tips, tricks, and shortcuts to make your life easier. Thanks for watching and happy dipping. Oh my God, it's delicious.